today I'm going to be talking about music. This month I made a playlist of 10 songs that were the... Wait, I'll read the description. The 10 songs that are the Aprilist. Um, it's a great description, Rose. It's basically just the songs that I listen to a lot in April. So I just go through them and talk about them and recommend them to you because my taste in music is the best taste of music, said everyone ever. Song number one, these are in no particular order. Song number one is Fireside by the Arctic Monkeys. <laughs> This is sort of representative of that whole album, um, AM, which is a great album. I listened to this album a lot while I was um, writing my, doing my nano thing. In fact, in my, in my novel, the characters have a van and they name it Arabella because I was just desperate for names, really. <laughs> and that, that was there. But it's a really good album and I really like that song off it. It's not my favourite. I think my favourite at the moment is Are You Mine, which is just solid riffs and the melody just sort of it's it's a bop. I'm not gonna do that. Song number two is Little Light by Lewis Watson. <laughs> Lewis Watson released a new album recently. This is a song off that. He I've heard versions of this song before by him, but this sounds like really big, really awesome. I like the the melody's really catchy. I think this is this is one of his most popular songs, if not his most popular song. And it's because I think it just gets in your head and it's great and it, it sounds cool. It sounds cool, Lewis. <laughs> I really like. I also really like his like quiet uh, acoustic stuff. Um, that's really nice and chill. I like indie folk. <laughs> indie folk all the way. Speaking of which, song number three is Melton Hole by The Shins. That was terrible. Okay. I really like The Shins. I my favorite album of theirs is Port of Morrow, which is un popular opinion, but that's because it's the first one of theirs that I heard, and I haven't really listened to their earlier stuff, even though everyone says that it's, like, really great and kind of better. They released a new album recently, and I really like it. I really like this song in particular, Mildenhall. It's just a nice Bella-dish thing, kind of, I, mm, maybe? But yeah, I really, I really like this album. I need to listen to it more, because there's a lot of songs on there that I don't, like, know. I like Name For You as well. That has a really cool music video. Um, that's just some kids skating, but it looks awesome. Song number four is Runaway by Ziggy Elberts. This was this artist was recommended to me by a friend. And it's really my kind of thing, so I listen to it a lot. Um, especially this song. This song is really cool. It's really catchy. It's like the kind of I would say it's the entry, the gateway song for Ziggy Elberts because it's like the it's the four chords, catchy melody one. Um, but there are some others, and I really like them. Sarah by Eskimo Joe. <laughs> Eskimo Joe, I've known for since they had since they had um, that track on Triple J, Triple J's Hottest 100 in like 2007. This song's off the album Black Fingernails Red Wine. I like this song, but I like the whole album's pretty good. Um, pretty good. It's pretty. It's pretty good. This has just been a nice sort of chill song that I've listened to in the car a bit, in my playlists, in some of my playlists. I need to put more Eskimo Joe on my playlist, really. Song number six. Spanish Sahara by Foles. This is this is a song that I really really love. I would maybe say that this is one of my favorite songs. I first discovered it from the Life is Strange soundtrack. You might know Life is Strange as one of the it, it was a really popular like story driven video game a few years ago I think in 2015. And the soundtrack is just phenomenal. It's I just go listen to it. It will calm you down and chill you out and you'll be like, this this song's great. This one's my favourite of that because it just builds. It's just a slow build. It starts off like really quiet with like nothing and it just builds slowly and I really like it. And it like and then this it just goes up and the drums come in and there's this guitar solo and it's really like quiet as well and it's nice. Song number seven, Urge to Sleep by Twenty One Pilots. I went to see Twenty One Pilots recently so it'll be kind of terrible if I didn't put them in this. This is not my favourite song off Vessel, but it's up there with them, and I think this is pretty representative of, like, their style, because it just switches between two complete, I wouldn't say completely different styles, but fairly different styles, and I, just, I really like how it changes and stuff, so that's cool. And I like Vessel as an album, it's a really good album. I prefer it to Blurry Face. Is that going to offend people? Probably. Song number also seven, because I think I counted wrong. But that's fine. Nothing Without You by Emma Blackery. I felt obliged to put this one in because Emma released new music and that's always cool when YouTube people release music because they're like crossing the, the mediums and making cool stuff. 
And uh, this song is quite the bop. Oh, I said I wouldn't do it. I only did it once. You probably made twice. Yeah. Celebrate is Voices by Feverbox. <laughs> now, Feverbox are a band, a tiny, tiny band, that I discovered through their cover of um, a th one of the songs off the New Shins album. And these guys did a really solid cover, and I was like, that's cool, and subscribed to their channel. And then in my sub box was like an EP announcement for their EP. And it's a really good EP. It's six tracks. Um, Voices is my favourite, mostly because of this like high synthy bit in the the chorus, but also because um, it's, it's a really good song. I like the guitars and stuff on it too. These guys have sort of like vaguely Arctic Monkeys vibes. I think they're a bit poppier than the Arctic Monkeys, but that is for like a debut EP. It's phenomenal. So I applaud you, good fellows of that band. And the final song is Lights Out by Royal Blood. I really like Royal Blood's um, album. <laughs> They've only got one. I don't know what to call it. Their first album? Their self-titled album? I mean, it's all of those things. I really like the stuff. It's really cool and like different to other things. And so I kind of had to put this one on as well. It does feel kind of similar to a lot of the stuff that was on their first album. I don't think that's a bad thing. It's a good track. And I'm interested to see if there's an album coming. That would be cool. Can I have another album, please, Royal Blood? Because I really like the first one. So yeah, those are my top 10 songs of April. Not even necessarily my top 10, just the Aprilist. The Aprilist songs. Maybe I'll do this next month. Maybe this will be a thing I do once and never again. Who knows? So if you have any music that you want to recommend me, you can do that. I'm not stopping you. But yeah, thanks for watching. And go check out some of these artists because they're kind of great. All right, I'll see you later. Bye.